Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. So today I'm going to talk about Steve Martin and the jerk. Remember that scene where he says, I don't need anything except for this chair and this lamp and this ashtray. Well, I was reminded of that this week when I thought about, I had written a blog post and I was thinking about a video to do and I thought I don't need anything but this Leica and this notebook and this is an amazing combination this and this have an equivalent for me so you may not know but I also work on becoming a stand-up and working as a stand-up comic and I write and I work on my show and I am a photographer and I go around and I photograph, document my world. But there are two ways of making photographs. If you are like my mother growing up, you take the camera out at the birthday party and you take three or four frames and then that's it. And if you are a photographer who likes to shoot landscape, you might go out with your landscape camera and find a destination, find a time to arrive, go out and make your photographs. But all of that is very deliberate. That's not the way I photograph. Somebody asked me once, how do you make photographs? What do you shoot? And I say, I don't know. I shoot what interests me as it comes to me. I shoot what's in front of me that has some interest to me. So this, it's kind of like a notebook. This is always with me. Without this finder and sometimes with, it'll fit in my pants pocket. And I like the idea of having a camera with me at all times, sometimes not around my shoulder. This is a 3F and one of the later models with a self timer. This is, I consider one of the most beautiful Leica's ever made. And these aren't that expensive, like three, 400 bucks. You can pick up a Leica 3F. And this, is my note taker for documenting life. And as a writer, you need to have a notebook with you if you want to capture ideas that come to you, because if you don't, you'll forget them. And I have a strong belief that if this is in my pocket, my mind now knows that I'm looking for things and it's looking for them for me. The same with this. If this is in my pocket, or if another camera is over my shoulder, then I'm aware and my mind is looking for things to photograph because I'm available. It's almost like by having the tool to capture, the awareness goes up. So if I take a walk at sunset and it's actually past sunset, it's dusk and I'm going out towards the golf course and I'll just take a walk. And if I were not to take a camera, then anything that I see, I wouldn't see at all because I don't have a camera to photograph it. So I would almost have to create a defense of saying, I'm not going to look at anything. I don't want to see because if I see something, I might want to shoot it and I can't shoot it because why didn't I bring my camera? So that doesn't really happen to me. But people who walk without a camera, I would suspect if I did that, then I wouldn't see things to photograph. And not because there aren't things to photograph, but because I've created this sense that I can photograph anything, so don't look for anything. But the truth is, this is the attractor. And this is the attractor. They attract words and ideas. They attract pictures and stories. And having them with you Again, this might sound really far out there that it's like philosophical that they have any ability to create the opportunities. But I know as a writer, if I don't have this with me and I have an idea, no matter how much I think I'll remember it later, I never do. And I haven't been without a camera in so long, I can't even tell you, but the idea of you need a camera with you because then you don't have to be like my mother, bringing it out only for three frames at the birthday party. 
you don't have to go out to landscapes only when it's landscape time. And again, if you're a landscape photographer, I completely understand why you would do that. You need to go out and schedule that stuff. My world as a documentary photographer, as a street photographer, and shooting for Roy Stryker, I need to always have work being made. And so the camera has to be available and then the possibilities arrive. It goes back to that being lucky. If you have the tools to be lucky, then you get lucky. And these are the tools that I use on a regular basis. And I go back to that phrase, this is all I need. This Leica and this notebook. And I'll put a link to the, pod, to the uh, blog post that I had written about this. And it basically summarizes what I'm talking about in that the tools change the perception of how you see life, how you look for ideas. And I think when you're open to ideas, when you are open to the image possibilities or you're open to the word possibilities, if you're a writer like I am, then those arrive. I wouldn't even think of ideas if I didn't have some way to record them. And yeah, you could do them in your phone, but for me, I don't want to open up the phone and find the app and type it in and mistype it and all. But this, it's instant and I think it kind of communicates that I'm on the lookout. And it works for me. I wonder if it would work for you or if it does work for you. Do you do, you do anything like that? I also think that there are people who document their photographs and they write down their exposures. I've talked about Jason Lee before. He's a actor who was on My Name is Earl, and that was a, an actor who was actually a photographer, and he shoots a lot of large format, and he loves documenting the exposures he makes for every frame. This is part of the fun of this process for him. He enjoys the documentation, and a photo isn't how quick can you snap it out the window or with a point-and-shoot camera or your phone. It's how much can I put into it and really record it all so I have that much more information that I enjoy having a part of this process. So this is all I need, although I have other cameras. All right, that's today's photography talk. What do you need? What's all you need? Actually, a lot of times I like to go out with a Rolleiflex and a notebook, but this fits in my pocket where a Rolleiflex doesn't. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. And I appreciate all my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. And I'll be back next week. We'll talk photography. As always, here's the good light.